Welcome back to Minnesota Fishing Brothers. I'm Matt. I'm Cam. And today we're going to go over our 2020 Rod and Reel Arsenal for bass fishing. So before we get started, I want to mention something about the line we use. So we use Suffix 832 Braid. And the reason we use Braid is because it's uh, low stretch. The for the diameter, you get uh, more uh, pounds. You get, you, get, you get more strength for the diameter. Um, we do occasionally use fluorocarbon leaders, but uh, we don't like to use fluorocarbon line simply because of the stretch and the memory, and it's just not as good as braid in our opinion. So sorry if you disagree with that. All right, so to get started, um, the techniques we use the most are uh, is wacky rigging, wacky rigging um, Senkos and stick baits. So for that, we have our the rods we use for that. So the rod I use for that is the Fenwick Silverhawk, which is a, um, or was a Cabela's exclusive, but it's now gone. It's about a hundred dollar rod, and I believe um, it was always on sale, so we bought a bunch of them. Uh, it's a six foot, or seven foot um, medium, and on that I have a 3,000 size President XT, which is a sweet little reel, um, nice little red accents on there, super smooth, love this reel to death. So that's my first combo for Senko fishing, or stick bait fishing. My second combo is the another Fenwick Silverhawk, same rod, seven foot medium, um, with a 3,000 size president, just a normal president. They both have a 15 pound braid, which I think is the best um, for Senko fishing, and a VMC Nico hook on there. So I have, I also have a Fenwick Silverhawk, again, seven foot medium, uh, and I have a uh, Fluger Purist on here, and then I have, this is my favorite all around rod, this is a Fenwick Atos, so a little bit pricier, this um, $200 rod compared to the, the $100, and I put a President XT on there. I love this setup. Um, both great, and I think I still have 20 pound line on here, but I'm going to go to 15 and again, the Nico, great hook. Best one hook. All right, next up is drop shot fishing. Um, for my first drop shot rod, I have a St. Croix Premier. It's a great, great drop shot rod. It's a uh, six foot six um, medium or yeah, medium light uh, rod. So it's got enough uh, play in the tip to deal with. Um, you know, playing fish in, and I have a 2,000 sized uh, Fluger President on there. We use um, uh, Wu tungsten cylinder drop shot, tungsten cylinder drop shot weights. What are they? The um, Invisishot. Invisishot. And Great. they're awesome rod. They're awesome. And um, Trocar drop shot hooks. For line, I have a 15 pound braid to a I think eight pound fluorocarbon leader. That's my first drop shot setup. Uh, my second one, which is in fact also my panfish and crappie rod, is a St. Croix Triumph uh, six foot um, rod. It's uh, I think a, no, a light, yeah, a light um, with a quarter ounce um, tungsten drop shot weight. Uh, six pound leader, 10 pound line, uh, same drop shot hook. Uh, don't even know what the Sola static, something like that. Um, Shimano reel on there, fairly cheap reel. It works great for just kind of shallow drop shot fishing. Um, you know, lighter applications, smaller baits, that kind of stuff. So this is my light uh, drop shot setup. This happens to be a loose uh, six six medium, um, and I got again. Um, Trocar drop shot quarter ounce, uh, 15 pound on here, eight pound liter. Uh, if you're wondering, by the way, what these are, they're foam earplugs. And if you leave a single hook like this, uh, they also use it for our Nico setups. Uh, you can hide the hook in the earplug and won't get caught on stuff. So that's my light drop shot. My regular drop shot is a 13 fishing code silver. Uh, I got this is a combo, the reel was awful, so I upgraded to a new uh, Fluker President. This reel's great, uh, the rod's okay, so it's a medium action seven foot rod. 
I think I'd go to a 6.6, uh, six, kind of hard to drop shot with that long rod. Again, Trocar drop shot hook. And uh, I think I have a half ounce weight on my heavier one. Uh, I actually use, so this is kind of the only difference in braid. This is suffix 832 still, but I use high vis. For drop shot, I actually kind of like to see the line because the fish will often take it and it's kind of nice to see the line move. Uh, I don't think that's really necessary if you just watch your line, but it is helpful. All right, moving on to our worm rods, um, Texas rig, stuff like that. Uh, they are Silverhawk, uh, Fenwick Silverhawk, seven foot uh, medium. And on there currently I have, it's also a good um, jerkbait rod. So I have a jerkbait on there with a uh, steel leader because in Minnesota we have pike and they love jerkbaits too. Uh, for the reel, I have a um, uh, Shimano um, SLX. It's a 8.2 to 1 gear ratio with 20 pound uh, braid on there, and it is a sweet little reel. Super thin, fits in your hand nice, and you can just work a jerk bait, reel a worm, whatever you want. It will do the job for you. Great rod. And it is actually a two piece, which is like the only two piece that they've ever made, <laughs> but uh, it's a great rod. So it's the same rod, uh, Fenwick Silverhawk. This isn't a two piece, so that's kind of annoying. And here's our normal Texas rig setup. So like a one eighth ounce weight and Texas rig uh, extra wide gap hook. I have a 13 fishing origin uh, reel on here. I really like this reel initially, but we had trouble with longevity. Yeah. Uh, the anti-reverse stopped working on three of the four. This is the only surviving one, so that was kind of a bummer. Mm -hmm. But works great initially. And Super 20 super pound cool. braid on here. Yep. All right, now it's time for me to get all fancy up in here. Uh, this is my jig rod, which is a Fenwick Atos, which I believe is the best jig rod that you could possibly have. Uh, it's a seven foot four, um, medium uh, heavy. It is a supremely nice rod. You can feel so much. It's so light. I mean, it, I hate the expression extension of your arm, but it is an extension of your arm. It does feel that way. I think that term's overused. But um, thirty pound braid, uh, just a hybrid jig on there. And for the reel, I have a um, Shimano. Corrado DC, which is an 8.5 to 1 gear ratio. Um, great for just cranking your jig in fast. Uh, I love the DC reel. Um, I have both a DC and a non-DC, and I, I love them both. Um, and, yeah, that's about all. It's a great rod. I basically have a cheaper setup, so it's the Fenwick Silverhawk uh, 7.6 medium heavy, 30-pound uh, braid on there. And then I have this reel is probably the best bait casting reel as far as bang for your buck. It is a Cabela's Tournament ZX. I don't know if they make it now with the merger and it's actually uh, made by Daiwa. Uh, great reel, we've had these. Yep. Actually lasts pretty long. Uh, the drag isn't uh, that tight and this is actually our slowest reel, seven one to one. Mm -hmm. um, most of, I think all of them are eight uh, something to one. Yep. But love this rod, but not nearly as nice as that one. Yeah. All right, for our fronging setups, uh, I have a Omen Black by 13 Fishing. I love this rod uh, for frogging and such. Um, seven foot one, um, the extra heavy. Yeah, yeah. no, just heavy. heavy. Um, seven foot makes it uh, nice and short-ish for, um, for working the tip down like that, how you'd work a frog, so it doesn't hit the water, which a longer rod would. Um, just a broomstick of a rod, short and stout, um, and I have 50 pound braid on there for working frogs, and you can crunch some toads on this stick for the reel. I have a Abu Garcia, Abu Garcia Revo SX, which um, I got for this rod specifically for the drag. It has 24 pounds of drag, which is the reason I got it for this rod. So you can really put the crank the, the crank down on some big fish. So that's my frog rod. Oh, it's also, I believe, a 8, eight oh to 1 ratio. So it's the same rod. The uh, Omen love this rod. 
and I put a uh, Shimano Corrado DC on there, amazing reel. I have 40 pound uh, suffix 832 on there and straight braid to there. Uh, the only thing with this reel, it's amazing, but the drag isn't nearly as tight as that Revo uh, and you always seem to have to continue tightening it. So I've lost a few fish because my, my reel wasn't great or my drag wasn't tight. But uh, amazing reel. Uh, I love this setup because it's really comfortable just to cast and cast and cast and cast. So I actually use it for chatter baits and some other kind of pike fishing baits yep. as well. Really, really nice rod. And I've caught, on this exact setup, I've caught 40-inch uh, pike. So it handled them just great. All right. Um, I have a uh, dedicated chatter bait, I guess, large crank rod even though I don't do much uh, large crank fishing. Um, it is a medium heavy, uh, seven foot three, 13 fishing, um, paint black. Um, sweet, sweet rod. Haven't got a whole lot of time to use it. Uh, as you can see, it's got those minimal guides, which makes it super nice for um, storing and stuff. Um, 30 pound braid on there. Just one of my favorite things is just retreat, cast and retrieve for uh, search techniques for a, uh, a little uh, chatter bait there. Um, and for the reel, I have a Shimano Corrado K, which is the 8.5 um, to 1 gear ratio. Just a sweet, sweet setup for cast and retrieve type fishing, just kind of search fishing. You know, swim bait, small swim bait, stuff like that. I don't have a comparable one to that. Yeah. Well, I guess the open. Sort of. Yeah. All right. All right. Now our flipping sticks. These are our getting dirty rods. These, these are our slop fishing rods. These go everywhere. There's lily pads and mats and all that kind of stuff. One of our favorite things to do. It's just super fun to target bass that way. Big bass too. You get some absolute toad. That's how you caught your, um, your PV yeah. doing that. And for the rods, we have the the 13 fishing, uh, fake black. Again, this is the, um, extra heavy, it goes up to like an ounce and a half, super sturdy rod. I think it's uh, what, seven, seven, four. So nice and long, you can get those meaty hook sets in. Uh, 50 pound braid, just to, to make sure you ain't losing no fish on that. And a Abu Garcia Revo uh, SX for the same reason as I have it on my frogging one for the drag. And you can hear that right there, that, that drag cranks down and it ain't gonna let go. Uh, and then for the rig, it's just um, Wu Tungsten Never Chip, which are absolutely a necessity almost. And a big uh, Trocar um, flipping hook. Great, great setup for trash fishing. Exact same setup down to the line and reel hook and everything. Uh, I guess one thing I'd add is, so this is just your traditional Texas rig. Um, yep flipping setup or punching setup. Uh, one thing we started using a lot last summer was the Tokyo rig. And that thing's amazing. It's actually a little more flexible because you can almost fish it like a jig. Yeah. You can kind of yep. kind of bounce it back a little bit more. And we caught some really nice fish on really it last year. Uh, actually, that was what I caught my PB on. Um, yep. And you can also use those if you rig them up properly. You can actually use them basically interchangeably with yes, a punching ring. Exactly. So I kind of go back and forth. I don't. Never quite sure what we like rig. the most. This the traditional punching rig does get through more. Yep. Also the hooks the the hooks we have are I mean they're massive meaty hooks. There's nothing wrong with the um, the hooks on the Tokyo rig, but these things are definitely a lot stronger than those. Yeah. All right, well, that's it for our setups. Uh, hopefully, we'll get out this weekend and film a video for you guys, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, um, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, our Instagram will be in the uh, description. If you go uh, drop us a follow there, that would be amazing. We've got lots of pictures of big fish up there. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys uh, have a great season. I, I, we're definitely uh, hoping so too, so good luck.